Hi, I'm Debbie Talach. This video is all about advanced UD color mixing. We'll colorize in UD and on top of UD with a variety of Ranger products. Next, I'm going to show you how to create iridescent color with clear UD. Just add Perfect Pearls to Melted UD. Perfect Pearls are pearlized powders with a built-in resin. Just flick Perfect Pearls into the UD and stir. You only need a little bit. Okay, this looks good. Now let's make a quick project. Place a memory frame on a Melt Art texture tread. A texture tread is a deeply etched unmounted rubber stamp. Pour the UD into the frame and let it cool. To check if the UD is set, tap on it with the spatula. If it's solid, it's ready. Just peel it off the texture tread and it's ready to use. You can also decorate on top of UD with other Ranger products. For this sample, I dabbed on Studio Paint. For this one, I dabbed on Liquid Pearls. And on this necklace, I brushed on Perfect Pearls. Another cool way to use UD is to add sparkle with Stickles Dry Glitter. Here I have some clear UD with Perfect Pearls in it, and I'll add some glitter to the pot. Stickles Dry Glitter has a shaker top for easy dispensing. Add a little or a lot. Stir until mixed well. For a list of heat safe glitters, go to the Ranger website. Check out the Melt Art Color Mixing Tip and Technique page. Here we've used the cookie cutter technique to make a star ornament. I poured sparkling beauty onto the nonstick craft sheet and placed a cookie cutter in the center. I let it cool and popped it out. To put a hole in the UD, use a Walnut Hollow Hot Marks tool. Place the hot tip into the UD to make a hole. String a ribbon on and you're done. You can also colorize your UD before it goes into the pot. Use Tim Holtz Adirondack Alcohol Inks to dye the UD particles. Pour some UD into a paper cup. Add drops of alcohol ink and stir. Add more color if desired and let it dry completely. After it's dried, Pour into the melting pot. Cover and heat. Never put alcohol ink directly into a hot pot. It's combustible before it evaporates. Now I'll show you melting and coloring shrink plastic. These leaves were die cut with Tim Holtz Sizzix dies. Drop the leaf into the pot and let it shrink. It may twist and curl as it's shrinking. If you need to, push it down into the UD with your tweezers. I slide the leaf along the edge as I'm pulling it out. And there we go. Remove the excess UD that way and let it cool. Here are other leaves that I made. You can also dip shrink plastic in clear UD and color with alcohol ink after it cools. Apply alcohol inks to felt on applicator. Then pounce it on the surface. These pieces are great to use in jewelry or home decor projects. 
Leftover Yudi doesn't go to waste. When you're finished crafting, pour it out onto the non-stick craft sheet. Let it cool and peel it off. You can remelt it and use it again and again. After you've poured out the extra yudi, don't forget to clean out your pot. Use the spatula to scrape out any yudi still in the pot. Then take a wad of paper towels and carefully wipe out the excess. The pot is still hot. Don't touch the metal directly. Turn off the pot and unplug. Your pot will be nice and clean when you want to use it again.